Uh, spring ball's been a lot of fun. I mean, especially with these new coaches. It's been awesome to, you know, get the scheme. And, you know, we've been having a lot of fun. You know, football's been a lot of fun here. So it's been great. What have the last couple of months been for you? It's been a while since we've been able to talk to players. Just the coaching change and you, you know, playing defense in the, the Alamo Bowl and kind of going back and forth between defense and offense. What has that like been? What has that been for you? Uh, it's been, it's just been a dream. It's been fun. You know, I just want to play football. I want to play wherever I can and help this team wherever I can. I'm just talking about the coaches. The coaches have been absolutely just wonderful. Breath of fresh air, really. Um, they're great people and they're just great coaches in general. You know, I come in the building, I'm excited to play football. I'm excited to see my coaches. So it's been, it's been a great culture. The vibe's different and, you know, football's fun, you know, so it's been good. You've mentioned that the vibe is different. A lot of other players have mentioned that the vibe is different. Just mm -hmm. what is, if you can figure, like put into words, just the, the change in vibe that you've seen and you've felt? Honestly, you know, it's a younger staff, you know, and I feel like they get us more and they kind of feel us more. Um, but it's, it's just kind of, just in that way, and it's, a, it's just something kind of new, you know? You get a new car, it's cool, you want to go drive it everywhere, right? You know, and just, you know, the scheme's been great. You know, it's just, the, they're, they're great people. You know, that's the biggest thing, they're great people. So, I think that the vibe, the vibe is the same, but it's just kind of different because it's, it's new and we're learning it, you know, and we're learning each other and we're, you know, kind of just trying to gel, so. So, just talk about Coach Landon and how would you describe him and the rest of the defensive staff? Um, ooh, aggressive, you know, really aggressive, um, on the field, very aggressive, ready to go, you know, um, they're not gonna, they're not gonna, you know, be soft or passive, you know, and off the field, great, great men, you know, great fathers, you know, great, um, great people in general. We do these get real meetings and I get to learn about them constantly and what they've been through and how they got here, you know, and it makes me want to play harder for them, you know. You, lo you lose, a, obviously, a talented pass rusher in Thibodeau, but have they have you and other defensive players kind of look at that as an opportunity just to kind of showcase yourself and the rest of the um, line, defensive line? Of course. You know, it's it sucks that we lose Thibodeau, and he's going to be a great player in the NFL. But we're thinking what we're thinking about the guys that are here right now. You know, we're trying to, we're trying to be great with the guys we have, and we're working hard. And uh, Coach Tuioti's been a great coach and teaching us, like, new moves and everything, especially for me, you know, I've, I, I played offense line all year. I, I'm, I need to learn kind of the movement of it, you know, but it, uh, it's been great. We've been getting, we've been progressively getting better. We got a long way to go for sure, but um, we're just progressing every day. So we've seen you go from defense at the start of camp for the last week, kind of go on the offensive side. Is there a plan for the future? Or are you still just going to go kind of ebb and flow and back and forth? I'm going to play both ways as long as I can, you know, I'm going to do whatever's best for the team. It's really, it's really up to Coach Lenny and the coaching staff. I really, I really don't care. Honestly, it's really up to my mom. Whatever my mom wants me to play, you know. <laughs> but um, no, uh, whatever they want me to do, I'll do. You know, if you want me to play quarterback, I'll go play quarterback. I can throw a little bit, not that far though. I think Coach Lenny did mention that if you wanted to play quarterback, I can throw a little could... bit. I can't compete with Bo and Ty, but yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. What's been the, what's been the biggest challenge for you then, going back and forth and? and uh, I know learning both playbooks at this point, have you reached out to anybody else in the team? I know DJ Johnson did something like that mm -hmm. last year. Has that been a, a guy you've talked to, or has it just been a, a – basically, what are the biggest challenges of doing this? Um, I think just, big, just you know, being in shape for it, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, learning both playbooks because – and just being elite at both, you know. It's college football. Can't be normal here on both sides of the ball. you got to be elite. So I think for me, I'm just – I'm trying to soak up everything. I'm finding leaders of both, you know, talking to – Talkie over there, and he he has a, he has a lot of great knowledge talking to Suave. And on the offensive line side, I know a lot of those guys are over there too. You got Alex, and I'm I'm constantly talking to both. You know, see what I can do to be better. You know, because I'm kind of I'm I'm hitting that point where I'm not young anymore. You know, and I don't got to become that guy. So yeah. Just talk about the pace of the uh, just kind of the offense that you kind of go up against too on a day to day basis. It seems like Landon wants to be very high up tempo mm -hmm. um, on the plate on every single play. Oh no no yeah they're throwing the ball they're throwing the ball they're moving they're challenging the defense you know we uh we got to get a call and sometimes we gotta you know um, rotate people in you know but we got to be quick and they're pushing the envelope on us to do it and making us better in that way so it's a high octane office they're throwing the ball they're running the ball throwing it here there you know I'm spinning around and then when I got on the offensive side you know it's 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 great to play as an offensive lineman there because we're we're we got run plays of course that offensive line love. But we're throwing the ball too. It's a fun scheme, and it's 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 been really fun to learn. So, how much of it has, if it's, is it a change from what you've previously been doing as far as scheme level? Scheme level, uh, I think more just pass, more pass emphasis. You know, we're still running the ball, but it's it's similar. You know, so I also haven't learned all of it, all of it. Yeah, I just kind of just got switched over, but yeah. Was today your first full-time scrimmage, like first full scrimmage? Um, 
Thanks, it, yeah. it was the first scrimmage, but this is the first time it really went both ways. You know, I, most spring I was been defense, and I did a couple. I did two practices with offense, and um, so yeah. But it was, it was my first bowl, I'd say. Yeah. Just overall, what was the the, the energy of the of playing in Austin? What was the energy of the team? What was that first scrimmage like? Oh, it's, it gives me goosebumps every time I walk in. I love Austin Stadium, you know. Um, and everyone's excited too. You know, we gotta we gotta play different in Austin because we can't be passive there. You know, we got all those fans ready for us and we gotta show out for them. So, but it, it was a great vibe. You know, everyone's excited to go out there and hit. It's our first time we get hit and tackle each other to the ground. And uh, I don't know, it's just like, you know, you go to elementary school and there's recess. You know, you get to tackle each other, right? It gets, it gets a little bit different now. So it's a lot of fun though. You're you're a high energy guy, obviously. How do you kind of balance at this point in camp? Obviously, being physical, working what you need to work on, but also making sure you know, you guys as a team stay physically right as well. Mm -hmm. How do you kind of balance that out? Um, I think it's just more, you know, what we do in the weight room. You know, uh, Coach Landing says that we need to be uh, attack, attacked rehab specialists, you know, after. So after practice, getting our bodies right and everything like that, but we're not on the field, we're going hard, hard and full speed. And Coach Love and the whole uh, weight and con like strength conditioning staff have prepared us great for that, you know. And uh, so it's just kind of that, you know, and just going throughout and having a good mindset every day. You know, I feel like the times where you start slowing down and kind of loafing, that's when you get hurt.